And we are back. What is up, Hall of Famers? Welcome back. Card Shop Eric here live from Hall of Fame Baseball Cards in Arcadia, California. And this is episode number 16 of our Monday night personal break series where we, in this case today, it looks like it's just going to be me opening boxes for you guys, the viewers. Uh, this has been a, a lot of fun for the last 15, 16 weeks. Uh, thanks to you guys who have been participating. As you can see on the screen in front of you, we already have some boxes lined up to go tonight. Um, and we're also going to do something else fun this evening that I'll tell you about in a second. Uh, but we'd love to get you lined up if anybody else uh, wants to jump in tonight and gets their, get their boxes lined up. What you see in front of us is what we already have lined up. There's nothing else waiting in the wings right now. So we're going to need some people to jump in and uh, support this little two-hour segment. By jumping into some personal breaks, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Follow me real quick to the next screen. Here's our home page right here. Let me just show you real quick what's going on on the home page of our website right now. We got Tops Triple Threads available right now for purchase. You can see uh, one of our box break videos right there. We still have some group breaks av available right now. Uh, the football group break did sell out. That will be happening on Wednesday. Um, we have, check this out. We did get to restock the Ty Cobb boxes. So we have some of those in stock. And we just put up some grab boxes. Uh, HOFBC grab boxes. You guys can look into those. Plus vintage singles for the holidays. If anybody knows a, a loved one or a fellow collector that might be interested in picking up a vintage single for that person or for yourself for the holidays, uh, check out our, our selection of vintage singles, all priced right based on condition, and you might enjoy what we put up there for that. Meanwhile, we're talking about breaks. Let's go to the group breaks page. Here it is. I'm going to drop a link right now. Boom. Boom. I just dropped the link into the group chat, and now I'm noticing all the people that have already popped into the group chat. Hi, everybody watching on the group chat. If you want to get into a personal break tonight and let us open a box for you while you watch, now's the right time. We'd love to have you jump in. Click that link I just dropped. It'll take you to this page that's right on your screen right now. And then choose any product like this Panini Prism Football, brand new. It says personal break in the title in all caps. Any one of these boxes on all six of these pages down here that say any box that says personal break in the title, if you buy that, you won't pay any shipping on it. We'll open it for you right here in front of the camera and then uh, we'll ship you the cards for free. Uh, you get to watch what goes on. You get to interact with everybody in the chat. People in our group chat have been pretty cool, so we appreciate that. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, let's get back to the main screen here. Also, just for fun, uh, I came up with just, I had this card uh, sitting on uh, the desk in the back room today. It's a Luis Aparicio rookie card from 1956. Anybody who doesn't know Luis Aparicio should get familiar with his name. He's one of the all-time greats right here. He played for the White Sox, and this is his rookie card from 1956. Now, while this card isn't in mint condition, it's still a cool card for anybody to own. And it was just sitting on my desk for the last few days. It wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with it. And I was like, you know what? Let's give it away to, to uh, one random uh, participant in tonight's episode. So uh, if you purchase anything for personal breaks tonight, your name will go on a list. And at the end of the episode tonight, we will random, random this off to uh, one lucky participant in our personal breaks. We already have Bill B., Matthew W. and Nelson P. in the lineup. So those guys have a one in three chance of taking home this uh, Luis Aparicio 1956 Tops rookie card right here. If you want a chance at that, uh, just for fun, um, throw your name. Get up in the personal breaks tonight. By the way, a uh, high book value on this card is 150 bucks. Uh, it's a classic. So uh, get in the lineup tonight. We'd love to have you. That's just something for fun tonight. Uh, maybe mix things up a little bit. Um, but for now, we're going to be kicking off the episode with Bill B, who purchased a couple boxes of the new uh, Ty Cobb product that has one guaranteed Ty Cobb cut relic per box. A handwritten cut relic per box, by the way. 
These have been uh, really cool to look at. And uh, if you happen to get one of the Ty Cobb autographs, like where he signed his name or a portion of his name, those, those cards are highly desirable. Any Ty Cobb autograph stuff is very desirable. And uh, it's a lot of fun. So Bill B., not sure if you're watching right now. I am checking the chat. What's up, everybody in the group chat? Hope everyone's having a great Monday. I love kicking off Mondays with uh, with this series right here. Thanks for everyone's support. Bill B., hope you're watching. We're going to get into your Ty Cobb boxes right here. Thanks for helping us kick off this episode Monday night. So this is a simple little break right here. This is Saran Wrap. And this is an exclusive product, uh, only available uh, to customers of uh, GTS Distribution. Um, we were one of them. Uh, let's see what's up. It's a quick rip. Check it out. The lid pops open like this. A word from Ty Cobb is what you see on the inside. The word is not a big word. In this case, looks like and. The word is and in this case. Now we've seen words from love to assured to uh, if he signs his name, it'll be Ty. Um, you can get uh, 24 karat gold cards. You can get uh, one of ones and printing plates for this product. Um, it's a really cool product. These all come factory sealed in a hard plastic there. You can see the factory sealed by this independent company who made this product. But uh, all these are are cut from a Ty Cobb handwritten letter. And uh, Bill, that's your first word from Ty Cobb right there. Boom. I can't, uh, let's check out what's in the second box. Check out what's in the second box. Not sure if Bill, and, and be sure if you're ordering personal breaks and you're gonna be watching live, include your YouTube screen name. So we know who you are. Make sure to include that with your order so we can identify you in the group chat. Bill, Bill B, here's your second of two Ty Cobb cards. Oh, this is kind of cool. Oh, yeah. H, wow. Actually, wow. I'm wowing right now because I'm realizing what uh, this is. Let's all check this out together. This is an exclusive, like I said, exclusive product. This actually has two words on it, returning to, it's hand numbered, 91 out of 100, and then right there next to the word two, that is a actual piece of silver. So like I said, I think I mentioned earlier, you can get uh, 24 karat gold. This is actual silver on this card. Wow. That's pretty sick. I'm just kind of looking up. I'm trying to see, get a close up here. Uh, 999. I don't know anything about precious metals, <laughs> but uh, any metallologists out there, I'm a heavy metallologist, but I am not a precious metallologist. That's actually cool. Jason Wento, what's up? He says, Boom Machine activated. That's a sick card. Bill B, wherever you are, you're going to like that. This thing could have some serious value to it, to be honest. I'm not sure the price of silver right now, but <laughs> Devin says, if you get 31 more, you can make grills for all your teeth. I like that. That's sick. So Bill got a couple boxes. And he did really well. We still have some of these boxes available, but not very many. These are very limited. I think they only made a thousand boxes to go around the world. Um, so if you want to jump on one of these Ty Cobb boxes, chance to get some silver or gold or who knows what else. Ty Cobb cut signatures, one of ones. We got a few left and uh, looks like the price is right for people still. $69.99 a box on those. Very cool. Bill B, way to kick it off, man. That's heavy. That is heavy. Uh, Yama, where are you standing? Can you grab me some water, please? Yeah. I forgot to grab me a bottle of water. Uh, Luis Valdez, a.k.a. Soup. 
Soup, our friend from Dodger Film Softball, one of our moderators here. He's up in here right now, dropping links. Dropping links like bombs right now. Everybody say what's up to Soup. And don't forget, by uh, purchasing uh, personal break products tonight, you got a chance to win this uh, Luis Aparicio 1956 Tops rookie card. Very cool. Just something different we did tonight. Spur, like literally spur of the moment, five minutes before we went live, I said, hey, let's try this out. Uh, Richard M. getting in the lineup tonight, so he's going to have a chance at the Aparicio rookie card. Let's see here. Next, Matthew W. with a brand new box of uh, Panini Prism football. Let me get some organization going on behind me. So early on tonight, we're going to be talking about some football. By the way, thanks to everybody who jumped into our football group break. A little five-box mixer uh, did sell out, and that will be going down live right here Wednesday, 2 p.m. Pacific. All right. Austin Klushka's in the group chat, a.k.a. Spidey from our Dodger Film Softball team. What's up, Spidey? Says, yo, happy Monday. Let's pull some heat. Absolutely. Spidey, you like football. We're getting into some sp football right now. Not sure if Chuck Wagon... Matthew W. is watching live right now. He may be driving. He does drive a big rig for a living, I believe. But wherever you are, Matthew, hope you're doing well. Getting into your box right now, Prism. Find three autographs per box on average. Brand new product. This just came out this past week. Boom. Look at that fat stack of packs there. <laughs> Soup already talking talking trash to Spidey. <laughs> it's friendly trash, though. We know that. Love you guys. Uh, I don't see Chuck Wagon up in the group chat, so I'm just going to trust Matthew W. that you will watch this video later. We appreciate your support as usual. Hope you're uh, driving safe out on the road out there. I'm just going to go left to right on these packs. Uh, maybe I'll bounce around, but I'm starting on the left. Let's check out some brand new Prism football, folks. Early. John Brown here. Kenny Stills. Lighting is not good right now. Uh, matter of fact, I'm actually going to pause and try to close my Roman shade. Keep your fingers crossed that I don't fall over. We're still working on our lighting situation, but to get like new and effective lighting, it's pretty costly. And we're hoping to find something that's more cost effective, which I haven't been able to do yet. But that's a little bit better. There's John Brown. Kenny Stills. Uh, Eli Manning. Lamar Miller. Jameis Winston. Taylor, Warren Moon. I remember Warren Moon. He was cool. Uh, Cooper Cup. Deion Sanders. We got a colored card behind him. Taylor Rapp. Uh, DK Metcalf. And the parallel is uh, Cole Beasley. Looking like a little orange parallel there for the Bills. Numbered 145 out of 249. And we are off and running. I'm actually going to go to the back now. Cam Vett, what's up, Cam Vett? Predicting autographs, packs one, three, and seven. So one was incorrect. Uh, this is currently the last pack, so I don't think you said that two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to pull out seven right now just for fun and three. There they are. Those will be coming up next. Here's the final, the last pack in the box, technically. Denzel Ward, Sanders, Jack, Kelly, Gordon, Warner, little Antonio Brown, <laughs> fireworks insert, pass. 
Uh, orange parallel Marquise Brown rookie. Also numbered out of 249. And then Caden Smith and Bunting rounding out that pack. <laughs> Halo light. Spidey suggesting Halo light. You mean from my hat? Uh, here was pack number three, just for uh, to kill curiosity of anybody. Here's Jalen Smith, Connor, Leonard, Roquan Smith, Henry, Terrell, Goodwin, Robinson. Hmm. Oh, wow. Is that a super fractor? Is this a one of one super? It sure looks like a super fractor. Let me see that one of one. Let me see that one of one. It's not one of one. It's five of five. That's interesting. I've never seen a super fractor numbered anything but one of one. Uh, I guess that's what happens if you pull an Antonio Brown card these days. He even uh, brings down the super fractors. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of a it's kind of a sick card unfortunately it's Antonio Brown but hey Matthew W hopefully you're into that and uh, yeah definitely cool looking definitely cool looking let's see what else is coming out of this pack we are uh, got a Drew Brees a little wave Red Wave, I'm going to say, a rookie card, or excuse me, Drew Locke, not Drew Brees. And this is numbered out of 149. <laughs> Spidey says, of course it's AB. Yeah. And then last two cards from that pack were Sternberger and Sanders. That was pack number three. Did not have an autograph. Did have that weird five of five super fractor looking card hopefully that wasn't a substitution for an autograph but they do say on average for autographs here's pack number seven Dunlap Lawrence Roethlisberger Khalil Mack Mariota Williams Steve Young Von Miller Thurman Thomas Geronimo Allison, nice little orange parallel out of 249, I'm assuming. Yes. David Montgomery and Miles Boykin rookies filling that out. Now we're going to go back to the beginning of the stack here. So, Cam Vett, you missed on your autograph predictions. I like the effort, though. I think that's fun. Here's Sneed, Anderson, Atkins, Olsen, Fuller, Lattimore, Coleman, Williams, Johnson. Of course, uh, Matthew W. is a Kansas City fan, so we're hoping to find something Kansas City from him. Here's Kyler Murray, rookie. Clayton Thorson, rookie. And there's something behind David Johnson here. It looks like it's backwards. Hopefully it's an autograph. Dwayne Haskins. Little Dwayne Haskins rookie autograph with the Washington Redskins right there. By the way, since we're talking football, I always forget to ask, but why doesn't everybody drop your favorite football teams right now? Be kind. If somebody else drops a football team that you don't like, you don't have to tell them about it. Just let them like who they want to like, people. Everybody gets to like whoever they want to like. You want to talk trash? Do it somewhere else. Dwayne Haskins, Prism. Card number 303. Soup likes the Chiefs. David likes the Broncos. Chad M. with the Bears. Fowler with the Giants. Lil Wayne Pearson with the Chiefs. Logan with the Rams. Russell with the Dolphins. Uh, what's up, Heron? Giants, of course. I wouldn't expect anything less. David Boyd with the Jags, Austin Kleschka with the Sea Hawks, the Hawks of the Sea. Uh, here's Carson Wentz and Kenyon Drake, 
Mark Andrews, Mason Crosby. I don't believe any relation to our friend Bobby Crosby. Or Bing Crosby. Or David Crosby. Or Sidney Crosby. I'm going to say no relation to any of those names. Christian McCaffrey. Deshaun Watson. Dan Marino. Joey Bosa. Tim Brown. Something backwards behind Brown. Here's Savage and Travis Homer. Let's see what's behind Tim Brown. Oh. Points. Rewards points right there. That we know to be a substitution that nobody likes. Nobody likes Panini rewards points. Panini, if anyone from Panini watches this video by chance, nobody likes the rewards points. Well, maybe like a five-year-old that doesn't know any better. But 99% of collectors do not like rewards points. But Matthew W., maybe this uh, next to your Super Fractor looks a little bit cooler. Your 5 of 5 Super Fractor. I don't even know what to call that card. All right, interesting box so far. Let's see what else it has. I'm going to pick this pack right here. Ertz. Fitzpatrick. Hurst. Cam Newton. Best last name in the history of sports. Jordan Aikens, uh, Sharp. Austin Eckler. Eckler, Bo Nose, <laughs> Jersey Devil 26 says those Panini points are a joke. I'd rather get a root canal. <laughs> um, Peterson here. We got Trace McSorley and Caleb Wilson rookies. And then behind Patrick Peterson. Trayvon Williams, how about a Red Wave signature card? Rookie. That's pretty. Cincinnati Bengals. So it's not the Chiefs, unfortunately, for Waldron, but it is a nice rookie auto, numbered out of 149. Uh, Trayvon Williams. That's definitely a cool looking card. That is super disco. We be getting down super disco, break in, money making, money, money making. If anybody can tell me the uh, the group that wrote that song, two bonus points for you. Michael Heron suggesting we should do hockey breaks. Hockey is tough to get into because, unfortunately, upper deck puts a really tight hold on their product. And I'm not talking about allocation, though their product is allocated just like everybody else's. But they only allow select people, for whatever reason, in an effort to protect their brand, I think, they only allow select people to do uh, to to even sell hockey boxes online, and that's including selling breaks. By the way, the first person to get the answer to my music trivia question was James M. What's up, James? Two fake points for you, James. You get bragging rights for answering correctly with the Beastie Boys. Money making, money, money making. We be getting down, super disco break in, uh. Love some Beastie Boys. LT right here. Love some LT. Mike Williams here. Something behind Mike Williams. We're going to fast forward to Bryce Love and Nasir Adderley rookies. And then behind Mike Williams. How about a Mike Evans? Brilliance insert. First of those we've seen. And some cracked ice of Cortland Sutton. Cortland Sutton, Denver Broncos. That's definitely a cool card. Not only does it have some cracked ice, but it's got some great, just like design work, some scallops here on the, right, right by my thumbs there. Oh, and there's a couple scallops down here by my thumbs as well. That's a beautiful card. 
That is a beauty. This thing's numbered 32 out of 99. I actually like that card. DMAX740 wants to know everybody's favorite Beastie Boys song. I wonder if there's uh, more people than the three of us that even know the Beastie Boys. But if you happen to watch right now and you know the Beastie Boys well enough and you can name your favorite song, go for it. I'd be curious to know. Soup says, girls, do 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 ba do 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 that's a great song. I always forget about that song. Oh, Michael Heron and uh, Galaxy Federal Police say Sure Shot. Yeah. Boom. Oh, oh, that was Sabotage. I think I like Sabotage. Yes. Um, Canadian Cardboard says Beastie Who? Maybe the Beastie Boys haven't reached Canada yet, but you should reach out to your uh, local Spotify or something and look for a group called the Beastie Boys. And yes, that was a joke about Canada. A poor one, I suppose. Uh, Yervin says Brass Monkey. Pass the Mic from James. Here's Curtis Samuel, Hasten Reddick, Moss, Garoppolo, a couple rookies from Marquise Blair and Gary Jennings Jr. And behind Garoppolo, we've got a nice old Traquan Smith prism. Pete Bambara says Paul Revere. Michael Heron also suggesting no sleep till gang. -gang. Gang, gang, and uh, Brooklyn. Ah, ah. It's gang, 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 gang. David Ron suggesting fight for your right. You gotta fight, gang, gang, for your right. Gang, 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 bang, gang, gang. John Elway here. Even John Elway likes the Beastie Boys. Uh, Devin Bush, two, and Anthony Johnson, rookies. Behind Elway, we're looking at Aaron Donald, fireworks insert, and. Gary on Conley right there. A little blue wave. It's cool. Number 18 out of 199. Uh, what's that single off of that record in my truck right now, Yama? What's the... Uh, it's like track five. Do it! <laughs> I know that's the end of the song. Uh, a couple people asking if we're safe from the fires. To be honest, I've been in such a little bubble, I didn't even know fires were going on, really. We're about an hour away from where these fires are happening, and I guess the wind has been blowing the opposite direction, because I haven't even had a, not a hint of it. What's the name of that Beastie Boys song? I'm thinking of. Oh, intergalactic, planetary, planetary, intergalactic, intergalactic. Well, it's 50 cups of coffee and you know it's on. <laughs> Clinton Portis, Prism, and Deion Sanders, a little, I call that a tie-dye Prism right there. That's pretty dope. 48 out of 175. I like my sugar with coffee and cream. You got to keep it going. Keep it going. Full steam. Too nice to be that or too nice to be mean. I don't remember all the words. They spit a lot of words in their songs. I love them. 
Nelson, uh, Walker, Jones. Last pack for Waldron, by the way. Thomas. Then we're getting into some more baseball. Dick Buckus. Greg Zerline. Bradley Chubb. Giggity. Riley Ridley. Devin White rookies. And behind the Chubb, we have a little aqua. I'm going to call this the aqua wave. Andy Isabella rookie. For the Cardinals right there out of uh, 007, Bond. 007 out of 199. So uh, the uh, most interesting cards out of this break right now. Unfortunately, we saw the points card, Waldron. You got 250 points to use on Panini's website. Uh, I thought this Cortland Sutton cracked ice was pretty cool. Travion Williams, a little red wave uh, rookie auto. This Antonio Brown, uh, I guess it's a super fractor because it's the color and the design, the card design is is representative of a super fractor, but this is not a one of one super fractor. This is a five of five. And then uh, Dwayne Haskins rookie auto right there, so... There you go, uh, Waldron. Whenever you get a chance to watch this, man, hope you're doing well. And appreciate you jumping in. Look forward to having you again soon. And your name is in the running, Waldron, for the uh, Luis Aparicio rookie card, by the way. For anyone who's just joining us, anyone who jumps into a personal break tonight, we'll go into a little raffle at the end of the video to uh, potentially win this 1956 Tops Luis Aparicio rookie. Devin Mata suggests that's a mini fractor. Yeah, maybe not super, but maybe a medium fractor or a <laughs> mini fractor. Um, all right, now batting. Nelson P. Nelson P. with a couple of quick rips. Uh, YouTube name Rec Rap 8099. Nelson, are you with us? Are you with us? And then on deck, Richard M. With a couple of quick rips. Followed by Bailey B. The Tide Cobb boxes are selling like hotcakes, folks. Jump on those before they go. And then uh, we got a few boxes also waiting in the wings. So thanks to everyone who's jumping in. Remember, uh, you get a chance to win that Aparicio card for jumping in at any point tonight before, uh, before we end. Uh, let's see... Okay, what's up, shop, says Nelson. What's up, Nelson? Thanks for jumping in, and thank you sincerely for leaving your YouTube screen name. That You don't know how much that helps us. That's incredible. So now there's no argument as to who is who. Uh, which box would you want me to, do you want me to start with, Nelson? The archives or the clearly? Waiting for Nelson to answer. I'm going to grab a sip of water. This, these are his boxes. Again, this is uh, where we are opening boxes for the viewers. Uh, if you're interested in doing that, jump in by clicking the link that I'm going to drop into the group chat right now. And choose any product on that link. There's six pages of product. Choose any product that says personal break in the title. You order it now. You won't pay shipping. We'll open it right now on camera. And we'll ship you the cards for free. And Nelson wants archives first. All right. Here we go. A couple of quick reps for Nelson. All right. Don't blink, Nelson. This one's for you in three, two, one. Woo! How about another one of one? These archives boxes have been hot for us. How about Gagne? Eric Gagne holds the record for the most consecutive saves in MLB history with, I think, it's like 73 or something, 63. I don't remember the exact number off the top of my head. But he had one full season where he completed every save that season. 
It's like 2003 or something. But Nelson, this card's a little bit crooked in the thing. I'm trying. I'm gonna try to straighten it out because it's really just the crookedness of it is is kind of bothering me. That's a little bit to the left, but it's a little more straight up and down. But that's Gagne. One of one. On card autograph from an old school Topps 205 card. Yeah. Nelson's looking for Braves. Says he was a good one, not a Brave, but I'll take it. Absolutely, man. He's in the record books, potentially forever. And you got uh, this card. that You have the only one in the world of this card right here. If you're not interested, I'm sure someone will be interested. You could, uh, you could trade it. Anybody who's listening right now is free to join our trading group on Facebook. Just go to Facebook, search for HOFBC Trading Group. HOFBC Trading Group. And request to join. It's free. It's all ages. And uh, you trade with other collectors in our community right there. We have over 300 people in that group right now. Let's see what's in your box of Clearly Authentic, Nelson. Here we go. Don't blink. Three, two, one. Mmm. It's Blue Jays, but there's only one real Blue Jay that most people who aren't Blue Jays fans are looking for. And this isn't it. <laughs> Danny Jansen, and it's not a Brave for Nelson either. Sorry, Nelson. I wish I could have pulled a Brave for you. But there you go. Danny Jansen, on-card rookie autograph from Topps Clearly Authentic right there. This product has been super hot. This card may not be a representative of how hot the product has been, but Clearly Authentic has been super hot for us, for sure. And Nelson, you're entered into the drawing to uh, potentially uh, potentially win that Aparicio rookie card. And the segment's not over. we still got another at least hour and a half, probably. Hour and 20 minutes to go here. So anybody who wants to jump in on personal breaks, uh, tonight we're just doing something a little different. We're going to raffle off. We're going to randomize this uh, Luis Aparicio. 1956 Tops original rookie card. For anybody who jumps in uh, to a personal break tonight. All right. Now batting. Richard Martinez with a couple of quick rips here. He's got a Ty Cobb box. He's got a pack of Topps Triple Threads. On deck, Bailey B with a Ty Cobb box. In the hole, we've got MFH. Oh, can't reach that far. I'm going to do this. Uh, MFH loaded up right now. Wow, all right. Three, uh, two boxes of gold label and three boxes of clearly authentic. Michael Heron looking to have some fun this evening. And that's all we got waiting in the wings right now. Anybody else who wants to jump in tonight and have us rip for you while we're live, now's a good time. Click those links that everyone keeps dropping right here. And we'll get you in also tonight just because you're going to be, if you buy a personal break uh, box tonight, I'm going to get you in uh, on a raffle on this Luis Aparicio card just for fun. All right. Richard M., I'm not sure if Richard is watching right now. I'm looking for you, Richard. Did I say thank you to Nelson if I did if I forgot to? Nelson, thank you for jumping in tonight. There we go. Monrovia 22. Let's get into it. I'm in beast mode. What do you want first, Richard? Ty Cobb or triple threads? Let me hear from you, buddy. I'm going to take a sip of water.
Michael Heron reminding everybody to hit that thumbs up. We do have a personal challenge to see how many likes we can get during a live stream. If everybody hit that like button right now, we'd all be a lot closer. I think our our record for likes during a live stream is 124, which is pretty good for us. But we haven't been anywhere close to that. All right, Richard wants triple threads. Let's get into it. This is a pack of the brand new triple threads. The, the full hobby box basically has two of these. Here's one pack of triple threads. You should have two hits per pack. Comes out of the little mini box in a pack, just like that. This product is brand new. All right, Richard. Richard, you still got some cards from uh, previous weeks to pick up over here, too, FYI. I'm sure you've been busy. No big deal. Just uh, reminding you. All right. Triple threads, and you can see there's a thick card in there. A couple of the hits are usually back-to-back. -back. I think it's those two cards there. So let's look at the top base cards. Zach, Zach Granke. Yvonne Pudge Rodriguez. Jose Ramirez. And then your hits, and I think there's two additional cards. Yes, underneath, so I'm going to show those real quick. Jim Palmer, purple out of 299. Oh, Richard, my boy Ricky Henderson. What do you say, buddy? Wouldn't mind putting that in my PC. That'd make a nice little addition. A little yellow. Yellow parallel. Maybe they call it gold, but it looks more yellow than gold to me right now. Thanks, Richard. Very kind of you, sir. Let's see what your hits are. All right, I'm just going to turn this over because your top hit here is Bregman. Those Astros, by the way, man, those Astros are ruthless. That team just does not give up. That team does not give up. Here's a Bregman, potential future World Series. Well, he's already a World Series champion, but maybe a two-time champion. Uh, this card's numbered 22 out of 27. It's a nice jumbo relic. And behind him, I'm going to go this way with it, maybe. No, I'm going to go this way with it. Whose face is that? Anybody recognize that face right there? Red helmet, uh, maybe looking like a St. Louis Maybe a St. Louis logo on that helmet. Hard to tell. I don't recognize the face. Wynn Bryan is saying O'Neal. And he's correct. Tyler O'Neal. How about a triple relic autograph numbered 4 out of 75? Triple Relic Autograph, numbered 4 out of 75 for Tyler O'Neill. That is Cardinals. Just get a quick couple sleeves on here. One and two. All right, uh, don't go anywhere, Richard. We got your Ty Cobb box coming up right now. Richard says, cool, I like it. I'm glad you do. All right, Ty Cobb's flying off the shelves for us. This is a really uh, unique product, a lot of fun. One handwritten cut relic from Ty Cobb inside every box, factory sealed. Let's see which word 
comes out for Richard Martinez. It could be any word. It could be the word and. Just some connecting word, or it could be a major word, or maybe a one of one. Who knows? Let's see what's up. A word from Ty Cobb, and in this box, the word is... I can't help but think of that scene from Cable Guy. If anyone's seen the movie Cable Guy and they're playing the word password, don't say the word right now, but I'm thinking of that word right now in my head. Anyone who knows what word I'm thinking of can laugh along. But the word from Ty Cobb is... Buffalo. That's cool. I kind of like that. Anybody here from Buffalo, New York? <laughs> Buffalo with a period after it. Like maybe in that sentence he wrote uh, to whoever he was writing to, later this week I'm traveling to Buffalo, period. <laughs> that's cool so there you go Richard hopefully you're into that I think it's cool Ty Cobb wrote that I think that's great the Georgia Peach himself inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1936 it's a long time ago for me <laughs> Richard Mon Richards is uh, Monrovia22 on YouTube, and he says, perhaps the sentence is, I'm having some wings in Buffalo. I like that. Yes. <laughs> there you go, Richard. Thanks for jumping in tonight. I hope you enjoyed that. You are now in the running for the uh, Luis Aparicio rookie card. Anyone who buys a personal break box tonight, we're going to randomize this card off to somebody. It's a 1956 Topps original Luis Aparicio rookie card. Just for fun. Just for fun. All right. Now batting. Bailey B, another box of Ty Cobb. I love it. I can do these boxes all day. On deck, Michael F.H. with five boxes, two gold labels, three clearly authentics. In the hole, James M. got in the mix with uh, three quick rips. One of them basketball. I like mixing it up like that. Thank you, James. Looking forward to hitting that in a bit. All right, Bailey Baseball, where are you at? Hey, there you are. Thank you very much for leaving your YouTube handle with us so that we can identify you in the group chat. That makes our job a lot easier. All right, Bailey, let's see what your word from Ty Cobb is going to be. Here we go. A word from Ty Cobb, and the word in this box is one of the smaller words in the English language, an. The word is an. Makes me wonder because all these little cut cut let, cut words are have been written in the same color ink, so I'm thinking it was taken off the same letter. But I I would have liked to have seen the original letter in its entirety before it got uh, used for this product. I wonder how large of a letter was it? Was it one page, two pages? You got to buy all of them to find out, I guess. <laughs> buy all thousand boxes that were made. That would actually be a killer project. So cool. That would be so sick. <laughs> Bailey Baseball, where are you? What do you think about this short word here? An. 
No comment from Bailey Baseball. He's probably, who knows? Chet Lemon was hoping for at least two syllables. All right. Thank you, Bailey, for letting us rip that for you. We got more boxes of Ty Cobb if you want to give it a second chance. Only 10 boxes in a case. All right, now batting. Michael Heron right here with three clearly authentic, two gold label. How do you want this to go down, Heron? How do you want this to go down? You want the clearly authentic? Do you want the gold label? Do you want to alternate? I can alternate like this if you want. See that? Oh, clearly gold, clearly gold, clearly. What do you think, buddy? Waiting for Heron to answer. Let's just give it a minute. Or not, not a minute. Give it a second. Alternate. All right. He says alternate. I like that. So we're going to start with uh, Clearly Authentic. There's your boxes right here on the right. We're going to start with Clearly Authentic on the top. All right. Don't blink. You got some quick rip right here. One, two, three. Jose Martinez, green parallel, on card auto, number 73 out of 99 with the St. Louis Cardinals. From tops, clearly authentic. Heron is looking for New York Mets. We know this to be a, a fact. And uh, hopefully some Pete Alonzo comes out for him. Heron, I was thinking about you recently when uh, a couple of my buddies came into the shop. I don't know if you happened to watch the uh, YouTube video we put up last week of my buddy opening those two boxes of triple threads. And the first box had that sick Pete Alonzo rookie patch auto. Thought about you. Trying to put those vibes towards uh, your boxes right here. So we're alternating. We're going to gold label now. Michael Eichel says, hey, soup and shop. What's up, Michael Eichel? All right, here's your gold label box. Looking like the gold frame is going to be this one right here. So I'm going to save that, if you don't mind. And let's see what kind of uh, base and or inserts you get. Starting with Frank Thomas. Tony Gwynn. Matsui. Cano, Class 2, Black Parallel, Joey Gallo. J.D. Martinez. Lindor. I think I heard something, uh, a room, there's a rumor going around that the Dodgers, I think, are pursuing... I think it's Lindor. Dodgers pursuing Lindor. Is that true? Soup, can you confirm? Did I hear that right? Uh, JT Realmuto, Chris Archer, Jackie Robinson. My first question went to that rumor was, can he pitch? <laughs> uh, here's Johnny Bench, Don Mattingly, Bo Jackson. Trout and McGuire. Uh, Ichiro. Yeah. Uh, Matsui. Trout again. 
There's Pete Alonzo. There's a little hint of the polar bear. Little black parallel rookie, class one. And uh, Carter Kaiboom. I'm going to sleeve that Alonzo rookie for a Heron. If I can, there it is. All right. Nolan Arenado. Machado. Severino. Arenado. This last card ends with an O in the name. I'm going to be stoked. Guerrero? I guess we'll count that, even though it's a junior at the end. We're going to count that. Arenado, Machado, Severino, Arenado, and Guerrero. That's fun. <laughs> I'm easily amused. That's cool. There's a Guerrero rookie for you, Heron. All right, we're getting close. We're getting close, buddy. Two packs, the second of those two, will have your gold-framed autograph. Oh, uh, Gallo. There's some more O's. It's like six O's in a row. And Jackie Robinson breaking up the streak. Griffey. Kikuchi. And Tanaka. All right, Heron, here's uh, your first box of gold label, your first framed autograph. There's Urias on the back. And Don Mattingly on the front. That Don Mattingly card is a little bit, little bit bent in the top left corner. FYI. That's all right. The hit. Oh, wow. That's a good start right there, Heron. That is a good start right there, Heron. Come on, baby. Let's all keep our fingers crossed for Mr. Michael Heron right now. We've been wanting to pull this guy at Pete Alonzo for the longest time. Come on, baby. Let's look at the face. Oh. Dang it. So close. Oh. Oh, hey, when Brian knows faces, he called McNeil by the face there. Sure enough, it's McNeil. But you did get a New York Met, so that's got to be counting for something for you, right? That's a pretty card, too. Pretty card. Nice autograph, very clean. Heron likes McNeil, so that's good. All right, all right, we're getting somewhere. Cool. Let's move on. Let's move on to uh, some clearly authentic for you, Heron. We're on the trail. We are on the trail towards Pete Alonzo. All right, let's see if he's in this box. We're tracking him. All right, don't blink, Heron. Here you go. Three, two, one. Oh! Someone just pulled one of his autographs earlier in the shop today. It's Ponce de Leon. On card rookie autograph right there. Okay, so we're alternating, so we're going back to a, another box of Clearly Authentic. I mean, excuse me, Gold Label, because that was Clearly Authentic. All right, Heron, there's your uh, Gold Label pack there. Put that on the bottom.
Sometimes I feel like a blackjack dealer shuffling packs and cards and decks around. It's kind of fun. Mike Piazza. Deion Sanders. Chet Lemon asking if De Leon, Ponce De Leon, ever discovered that fountain. That fountain of youth? I certainly haven't found it, that's for sure. Uh, here's Ricky Henderson right there. I'm not sure if I have that card. Uh, Giancarlo Stanton, Ronald Acuna. Nick Senzel. Yeah, Soup, I gave you that. I teed that up for you like a, like a Titleist on the 18th hole. Uh, Yadier Molina, Chris Davis, Cal Ripken Jr., Gary Sanchez. Actually, Yama, would you check for me real quick if you're not busy? Yeah. All love indeed. I know that. Check to see if I have this Ricky Henderson Class 3. Regular, not black. Class 3 regular. What about there's a card on the far right of the desk as well? Not Okay. Maybe Heron, maybe Heron would uh, make a small trade so I can keep this Ricky Henderson in my collection, this little base card. Michael Heron, let me know if you'd be interested in that. I'll, I'll uh, you know, send you a little bonus pack or something in trade. Uh, here's Kershaw. Springer, if not, no worries, of course. Uh, there's Stanton and Harper. And then a blue parallel of Roger Clemens, 15 out of 150. Heron says, sure, keep it. Thanks, buddy. Justin Verlander, Chris Sale, Goldschmidt, Alomar, and Chipper. Cam Vett reminding everyone to use that Super Chat feature. If you uh, think you got something to say, use that Super Chat feature. And your, uh, your comment will be highlighted in the group chat. and makes it easier for us to see. We can't catch every comment that comes through, uh, but we'd like to respond to everything if, if we could. But the Super Chat makes it easier. Plus, it just allows people to give a small donation towards our efforts here at Hall of Fame. Uh, here's Ted Williams, Barry Larkin, Whit Merrifield, and Mr. Ernie Banks. Speaking of Ernie Banks, we have some vintage singles. I, th I don't know if I mentioned, I think I mentioned that at the top, but we just started putting up some vintage cards on our website for some great prices. If anybody you know likes, uh, wants some vintage cards or holidays are coming up, so they make great gifts, some favorite players or whatnot. Check out the vintage cards on our website, too. I think we have an Ernie Banks one up there. That's what reminded me. Uh, here's Ozzy Smith. In fact, I think we have an Ozzy Smith rookie card up for sale on our website, which is kind of cool. I believe it's a 79 tops. Here's Kikuchi. Video game scrub. Just saw the MVP softball video. Congrats, man. Cool. Thank you. Uh, I think the, the, the current uh, award ceremony video should be coming up, I think, like tomorrow or the next day. So keep an eye out for that. See who wins MVP for the current season. Maybe I win it again. Blake Snell. Mike Piazza rounding out that pack, and then Heron, your last pack for now at least, of gold label, with your gold framed autograph. Frank Thomas base card on the back. Ozzy Albies base card on the front. And the gold label is. I see a baseball bat. 
Ooh. Mm, sorry about that, buddy. <laughs> Orioles, unless this is uh, Cal Ripken Jr. or uh, who else? Eddie Murray, Brooks Robinson. I don't know if any of those those guys have signed for this product. But a lot of people saying Mullins right now. Let's see who it is. Everybody who said Mullins hit the nail right on the head right there. Cedric Mullins. Not Rodney. On card rookie autograph. It's clean. These are beautiful looking cards. You got to give them that. Well, you got a New York Met in the first box. That was cool. And you got a box of clearly authentic left. Let's see what happens with that. One second. All right, Heron. Don't blink, buddy. We'll see what we can do for you with Clearly Authentic. All right. Three, two, one. Come on, baby. Uh, I want it to be... Pete Alonzo is so bad for you right now, man, but uh, unfortunately it's not. Cole Trickle. I mean, Cole Tucker. Cole Green Parallel On Card Rookie Autograph for the Pittsburgh Pirates, 48 to 99. Nice looking card, just not the player that we were hoping for for this personal collector. Bill Bars is up in here. What's up, Bilby? Just checked in from soccer, and he retracted his message before I could read the whole thing. Oh, well. Not sure what you said. The message was retracted. Heron says, LOL, I can't catch a break. Oh, well, thanks, shop. You're welcome, Heron. Happy to rip for you anytime. Thank you. Now batting, James M. Uh, with three boxes, uh, clearly authentic, archives retired, and a box of Cornerstones basketball. James, what do you want me to start with? On deck, uh, just entering the game, is Travis G. With a box of clearly authentic that I'll put right back there. And if you're watching right now, don't forget, if uh, you jump into personal breaks tonight... Try and just for fun, we're going to uh, random off this 1956 original Tops Luis Aparicio rookie card. So anybody who uh, jumps into personal breaks, your name gonna, is going on a list, and we're going to randomize this off at the end of the uh, segment tonight. So jump in. Have a chance at this original 56 Tops rookie. Uh, where do you want me to start, James? He says, archives, clearly NBA. One, two, three. Kind of like that. And then we got uh, Travis G's box in the background. And then after that, we're free. We're freewheeling after that. So this this will be ten minutes right here. We're going to need you guys to start jumping in. Uh, Luis Valdez is uh, dropping those links. Click those links. Choose any product that says personal breaks in the title. We rip it. You watch. We ship it for free. You receive the cards right at your front door to enjoy. And I'm sure uh, some of these regulars up in here, like James M., will testify that it's been a lot of fun. Here we go, James. Quick rip for you. Dan. 
don't blink. Let's see what's under the hood of your box of 2019 Topps Archives Signature Series Retired Player Edition. Hey, how about Mr. Rick Honeycutt? Rick Honeycutt, a shot of him with the Oakland Athletics right there. 57 of 91. Uh, also, former Dodger, he, I believe, was the Dodgers pitching coach up until, I think, didn't he just get replaced? He got replaced by, I think they brought in uh, somebody from the Cubs or former Cub. I forget the guy's name. But I, le I believe Honeycutt lost his position. If somebody could help me out by telling me... <laughs> which name I'm trying to think of because I'm drowning here, but there you go. That's a clean signature. That is definitely clean. 57 out of 91. All right, James, let's see what's up in your box of Clearly Authentic. He retired from playing, I know, a long time ago, but... Yeah, who replaced him? The guy from the Cubs. He used to be a Cub. Mark Pryor. Thank you, Chad M. Honeycutt moving to the front office. Mark Pryor taking over as pitching manager. Thank you, Chad. Uh, James M., don't blink. Here's clearly authentic. It's Mr. Ozzy Albies. All right, the names are getting better. <coughs> Excuse me. Numbered 69 of 99, giggity. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to have to adjust my lighting again because now that it's funny, the lighting changes so drastically here from 4 to 5 o'clock. But let me just finish. Well, here, let me adjust the lighting again real quick, and then I'll try to hopefully some additional light in here. will All right, let's see if that helps at all. <laughs> Little bit. There's still so much glare in here. There's not much I can do about the glare because we are underneath a skylight. It's just the way this building was built. But that's a nice old uh, 84 throwback uh, Ozzy Albies Green Parallel on card auto. Numbered out of 99. James M. says, I'll take it. Pretty card for sure. It's nice looking. And now we're getting back to basketball for James. James, I believe, has been on the hunt for Luca. If I remember correctly. Let's see what's in this box of 2018-19 cornerstones. Two autographs, one memorabilia card per box. Yes, Cam Vett pointing out my t-shirt. Zello Pizza, since 5 a.m. Best pizza in the world, literally, right across the street. There's two reasons to come visit us. All right, let's see what's up. There we go. Pack inside. Nicely crinkled up. Hopefully that's not a sign of what the cards might look like. Let's see what's up. There's some uh, thick cards in the middle there. Giannis. Or Giannis, as some people might say. Numbered out of 139. A little numbered base action. Josh Okogi. A little startups card. 
We got uh, Tim Hardaway there, numbered out of 79. We've got, I'm just going to turn these around. Jaron Jackson Jr. Jaron Jackson Jr., a little uh, building blocks relic. Memphis Grizzlies. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with this card next. Sean Elliott. Keystone Signatures. Numbered uh, 19 out of 49. Cam Vett asking if he told us the NBA Cinderella joke. I don't remember it. If you're going to tell it, it better be appropriate. James M. says this is his second Sean Elliott card. Then let's see your last autograph here behind Jaron Jackson. This way, maybe? I'm just going to do it. Okobo. We had Okogi. And now Okobo. Okogi, Okobo. But this is a little Cornerstones on card autographed. Four swatches, numbered out of 199. That's a pretty looking card. I like the colors there. Why didn't Cinderella qualify for the basketball team? I don't know. Why? <sighs> because she ran away from the ball. Ha! Don't quit your day job. All right, that was James M. Thank you, James. Appreciate you, buddy. And uh, now batting, Travis G. with a box of Clearly Authentic. These boxes don't stand up. Watch. No. <laughs> no, they don't stand up. Uh, on deck, uh, Jonathan H. Welcome back, Jonathan with a couple of boxes of gold label. And remember, by jumping into a personal break tonight, you got a chance at the uh, 1956 Topps Luis Aparicio. Rookie card. Original. 1956. High Beckett value of this card is 150 bucks. All right, Travis G. did not leave his... Uh, YouTube handle. Remember, people, if we don't know who you are, you got to leave your YouTube handles when you place your order so that we can identify you on the live stream. Travis G., here's your box of Clearly Authentic. Three, two, one. Lane Thomas. Man, clearly authentic has to heat back up at some point. We, I, From all the boxes that we've opened up, I feel like we haven't gone more than like four or five boxes without it heating, heating back up in a big way. And I think this is like maybe the fifth box we've opened tonight. Ozzy Albies was cool. But well, this stuff's got to be heating back up hotter than uh, Lane Thomas. But hopefully Travis G is a uh, St. Louis Cardinals fan. 
If not, you're welcome to trade in our trading group. Go to Facebook, join HOFBC Trading Group on Facebook, and put it up for trade if you're not interested. On card rookie autograph. Yama, is this Travis Gilchrist? Uh, yeah. Travis, there is a Travis Gilchrist in the group chat. The only pro yeah, the thing is, you know, if you've been watching long enough, we've had multiple names of the same people, and one person claims to be another. So even when I could maybe safely assume that that's the same Travis, but that's why we ask people to leave uh, your YouTube handle with your order somewhere. There's a spot when you place orders. There's a spot to leave a note for the seller. Be it, be to do that. Do that, please, in the future, so that we know exactly who you are. There's no question about it. That way, if anything were to happen, we can identify you immediately as being the correct person. But there we go, Travis G. Thanks for jumping in. You got a chance at the Luis Aparicio rookie card. Your name's going on to the raffle list. Uh, Jonathan H. Look at this. This is what happens when you listen right here. YouTube, Autistic Family Collectibles. Thank you, Jonathan, for continuing to uh, help us out here by leaving your name. And I'm looking for you now. I see you commented a little bit earlier. Jonathan, let me know if you're, if you're still watching. I'm assuming you would be. And then tell me which box you want. Do you want to start with the uh, left or the right? This just in, on deck, we got a box of triple threads for Pete B. Pete B did not leave his YouTube name, so if you're watching live, we're going to be hard to uh, identify you. But people, you leave your YouTube handles. I cannot tell you enough. Oh, there he is, Jonathan H. Thanks for the super chat, buddy. That's helpful. I can see that. See, that's what the super chat does, folks. Makes that so easy to read. You found me. Let's do this. Left to right. Rock and roll, buddy. Let's do this. Gold label. Let's see what's coming out. Jonathan, would you please remind us who you're looking for? Who do you collect? What's your favorite team or favorite player as I get into your box? This looks to be your gold label pack right here, so I'm going to put that on the bottom and do that last. Cam Vett says, uh, it's like forgetting to put your name on homework on a test at school. Yeah. All right, Chris Archer here. There's Pete Alonzo, rookie there. Here's Ken Griffey Jr. Clemente. Ernie Banks, that's the first pack down. Reese Hoskins, Corey Seeger, Trevor Bauer, Carlos Correa, Black Parallel Class One, and Mike Piazza. Pizza man. Thanks again, Jonathan. Autistic Family Collectibles. $5 super chat. Thanks, man. That makes it so easy. Rangers are my favorite American League. Braves favorite National League. Nolan is my all-time favorite player. I'm happy with good rookies, of course. Uh, do you mean Nolan Ryan or Nolan Arenado? You never know with people these days. I don't want to assume too much. Those are the only two Nolans I can think of off the top of my head. Being Rangers are one of your favorite teams, I'm guessing you're talking about Nolan Ryan. Because he did play with the Rangers, obviously, I know that. Gary Sanchez here. Ryan it is. Thank you, Jonathan. You are the man. Ronald Acuna Jr. 
A nice card there. We got Carter Kaiboom and Neon Dion Sanders. So we're hoping for Rangers or Braves for Mr. Jonathan H. here. Uh, here's Bryce Harper. Chipper Yones. Ernie Banks. Rizzo. Senzel, rookie. Mike Piazza. Uh, Neon Dion again. Followed by Mookie Betts. Uh, Fernando Tatis Jr. rookie card on a Class 2 Black Parallel. And Yachty. Yachty, yachty, yachty. <clears throat> Second to last pack has Nick Senzel right there. Uh, yachty or Molina again. Albert Pujols. Ted Williams, red parallel, 16 out of 25. That's a pretty card. I'll sleeve that for you. That's nice. And Chris Davis. I'll just show that off before the sleeve gets on it. That's nice. I like the red parallels, especially with uh, Ted Williams on it. Yeah, there you go, Jonathan. That's a cool card. Let's see what your first gold label autograph is. Ozzy Albies base on the back. Barry Larkin base on the front. Ooh, Ozzy Albies is black parallel class one. And the gold framed autograph did. Looks like a blue parallel. Looks like maybe a pitcher for St. Louis. A pitcher for St. Louis right here. Let's see who it is. It's our boy Jack Flaherty. I straight from Ireland right onto this blue parallel. On card autograph number 7 out of 50. I'd like to go have a Guinness and a shot of some, some Irish whiskey. Some bush mills, that's what I was looking for. I feel like I haven't pulled a Flaherty autograph in a while. I haven't had to bust out my Irish accent for quite some time. But there it is, numbered 7 out of 50 for you, Jonathan. <laughs> Cam Vett appreciates my accent, thank you. <laughs> Jonathan says, looks so angry, someone must have stole his lucky charms. Yeah. Well, this shot on the right, he's obviously pitching. So he's got, you know, pitcher face. On the left is just a pose. He's not not smiling. It'd be nice if he was smiling, right? Okay, you got one more box, Jonathan, of gold label. Hang tight. One more box of gold label for Jonathan H, a.k.a. Autistic Family Collectibles, uh, followed by a box of triple threads for Pete B on the deck. And uh, let's see, in the hole, 2019 Chronicles for, is that the real Mark O? Yeah. See, Mark O was one of those guys we had the, the problem with. Um, but, uh, and then David F., uh, cleaning up right now with some clearly authentic but we still got room after that if you guys want to get your boxes in I'm dropping the link right now that link will take you to our, our breaks pages and you can choose any product that says personal break in the title we rip it for you live right now in front of the camera while you watch then we ship it to you for free and tonight special little edition Anyone who buys a personal break spot, 
We're going to raffle off this uh, 1956 Topps Luis Aparicio original rookie card. Sitting right there in the corner. Oh, wow. Thank you to David F., by the way, for leaving his uh, YouTube screen name. Appreciate that. All right, Jonathan, gold label. Let's continue. Looking for Rangers or Braves for Jonathan. There's your gold framed autograph clearly right there. So that's going to go on the bottom. See what's up. <laughs> Soup, no, I do not want your opinion. Cam Vett's got another joke. Why are frogs such great outfielders? Um, because they always catch the short hop? I don't know. Why? Trout, Arenado, Altuve, uh, Ramirez, and another little red parallel. This time Mark McGuire, 12 out of 50. Those red backgrounds are striking. Good at catching flies. Jonathan got it. He didn't have to be told. He knew. That's got to be it. Yep. Nice job. I'm going to sleeve this McGuire card because that's pretty. Manny Machado here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Luis Severino. Juan Soto fighting, fighting for that ring right now. They've, they've got to claw their way back. The Nationals need to win two in a row in Houston, right? Good luck. Here's Pujols on a class two, Black Parallel, and Charlie Blackman. I wonder what the odds are. For the, uh, for the Nationals to win the World Series this year right now. Here's Joey Gallo. There's some Rangers. A little hint at a Ranger. There's Jackie Robinson. Ben Intendi. Buster Posey. Cindergaard. Uh, McGuire again, Carter Kaiboom, Vlad Jr. Rookie, Ted Williams, Black Parallel Class 1, and Glaber Torres. Masahiro Tanaka here. Uh, uh, here's Cody Bellinger. Cam Vett seriously busting out some dad jokes right now. Cam Vett, are you a dad by chance? Jose Altuve here. Shohei Otani. I'll bite, Cam. What do male cattle use to write? Here's Max Scherzer. Bullpens. Hey. Boom. Andrew Benintendi here. If this camera will focus, you'll see the card. There he is. It's a little better. Uh, Shohei Otani. Aaron Nola, Barry Larkin, Mariano Rivera, and that brings us to the gold label autograph for Jonathan H., a.k.a. Autistic Family Collectibles. Let's see what you get here. Luis Severino, base card on the back. Paul Goldschmidt, base card on the front. And your gold label autograph is... Oh, 
Oh. Oh, it's a Blue Jay helmet. What are the odds that it's going to be Vlad Guerrero Jr.? See, there's the logo right there. I mean, there's so many Blue Jay cards that have been coming out of this product. No hitter giving us a 2% odds right now. <laughs> Win Brian predicting Justin Smoke. Mike the Card Dude predicting Telez. I like all those predictions. We all want to see Vladdy. Theoden predicting Jansen. Well, let's see who it's going to be. Three, two, one. It's Danny Jansen. On card rookie autograph, Toronto Blue Jays, Danny Jansen right there. Pretty cards, man. These cards really look cool this year. I love that gold stripe going down the middle of the card right there. It's got a cool little sparkle to it. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. Should be able to, but that's a really, they're really nice looking cards. They really are. Jonathan says he had a decent year at least. And that's positive thinking right there. That's a good way to look at it. Thank you, Jonathan, over at Autistic Family Collectibles. We're happy to have you aboard once again. And I hope to see you again. I enjoy pleasant people like yourself. That makes, our, it, makes it more fun over here, you know. It makes it more fun for everybody. So tip of the cap to you once again. Now batting, Pete B with a box of the brand new 2019 Tops Triple Threads baseball cards. On deck, Mark O with Chronicles, followed by David F with a clearly authentic box. And if anybody else wants to jump in, Uh, we just dropped the link right there. It's right above Autistic Family Collectibles Super Chat. Thank you, Jonathan. Says, thanks, shop. Greatly appreciate it. My pleasure, man. Thank you. And you guys can use that link that I dropped right above his Super Chat and get to our personal breaks page. Remember to leave your YouTube handle in your order so we know who you are online. Anybody who jumps into personal breaks tonight has a chance at this Luis Aparicio, 1956 Tops rookie card. We're going to raffle that off live right at the end. Well, that'll be fun. All right, Pete B. Pete B. I uh, did not leave... Uh, did not leave a YouTube handle. Hopefully Pete B is watching live right now. Is that Pete Bambara? Yeah. Is that so there is a Pete Bambara in the group chat, but you never know. We've had falsities before. Um, for now, we'll just assume that that Pete Bambara is the Pete B that's uh, right here with this box. So Pete B. Did you know that the, uh, the Beatles' original drummer was named Pete Best? Speaking of Pete B, so here's Triple Threads, folks. This is uh, how it works. Opens up like this. You got two packs inside or two mini boxes. One, two, just like that. Uh, Pete B, which one do you want, the left or the right box opened first? The left pack or the right pack? You choose... Left. All right, left it is. As in, I left my heart in San Francisco. Brand new product, just came out last week. Love checking out the new stuff.
let's see what's in pack number one for Mr. Pete B. All right. Andres Scalaraga, the big cat. Caleb commenting about the Beatles. I can talk Beatles all day. Why not? I mentioned the Beatles earlier just a few seconds ago. Caleb commenting his favorite song was Let It Be. Let It Be, one of the greatest songs ever written in pop pop music or music in general. How about everybody else? Anybody like the Beatles out there? What's your favorite Beatles song? I know it's one of the hardest questions to answer in of all time. But let's 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 drop some favorite Beatles songs right now. Coming to coming to mind, I think about Oh Darling. That's one of my favorites. Paul's voice in that song. Don't let me down. Yama from the back says, Don't Let Me Down is one of his favorites. How about Devin with Yellow Submarine? Mike with Come Together. Cam with Yellow Submarine. Savage with Help. Soup with Something. Here's Strasburg on the screen in front of us. I'm going to try to talk about both as I'm getting through these cards. Here's George Springer. Ooh, Aldo, good dis good choice, buddy. I love that song. Scooby Dooby Doo. Scoop Doop. Scooby Dooby Doo. Love that song. Here's Jose Barrios right here on Gold Parallel 49 to 75. We got uh, Chad says, here comes the sun. Heron likes Hey Jude. Uh, there's somebody who's watching who it looks like their screen name is in some type of kanji. Obviously a language that I don't read. But they said, hello, nice to meet you all. Hello, whoever you are. We are watching in mute while working. Well, you... Hello. You can't hear when you hear me say hi to you, I guess. <laughs> um, Lewis uh, Soup says, All My Lovin'. Yeah, All My Lovin' was the song that actually got me hooked on the Beatles. All my lovin', I will send to you. Those harmonies on the second verse? Oh, get out of town. It's everything I ever wanted in a song. Cam Vett says, Help. Campbell. Mike Campbell, Georgia, what's up? With a little help from my friends, you gotta love... You gotta love that song. How about the uh, the Joe Cocker version? Here's Barry Larkin, Orange Parallel out of 199. I forget we're talking about cards. Uh, Disc and Kayak talking Sgt. Peppers. Absolutely. Uh, Wynn Bryan saying, I'm too young for the Beatles. I disagree. No one's ever too young for the Beatles. Go pull up some Beatles right now in the background. All right, everyone's spying a redemption card back here. Let's see what it's going to be. Let's just get let's just get right to it. How about Yelich? Triple Threads autograph single jumbo relic of Christian Yelich. All right. At least that was a good redemption. People don't like redemptions, but that's a good one. And I'm going to keep talking Beatles cuz I could talk Beatles till I'm blue in the face. Aldo also says Nowhere Man. Good good call. And uh, the person with the, uh, the screen name that I can't write says, uh, as a person collecting baseball cards in Korea, I like this channel so much. Well, Chan. Kombe. That's all I know in Korea. Basically means Cheers. Michael Heron's talking about it's your birthday. Ba no 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 no. Mike Campbell also says Strawberry Fields. Love that song. Let's see what the other hit and this pot and this pack is. That was the uh, Springer bass card right there. The other hit is. Let's just flip it around. Woo! Wow! There's Pete Alonzo. Uh, stoked for Pete B, whose box this is. 
Sorry, Michael Heron, if you're still watching. I feel like I'm cheating on you anytime we pull a uh, Pete Alonzo for anyone else but you right now. But that's sick. 10 out of 10 out of 18. Triple relic. It looks like, yeah, that's a piece of a base right there in the middle. You got jersey, base, and bat. That's nasty. Let's get a close-up on that base. That I mean, you can feel the dirt on there, really. Where's Pete B? Let me see. What a party, he says. Sick. Absolutely, bud. That's cool. That's, I haven't seen a base on a relic for quite some time. Yama's even coming out to check it out. That's pretty dope, huh? I haven't seen a base relic for quite some time, but that's a sick pack. You still have one more pack out of this box, buddy. Could it get better? We're going to find out. We're going to find out. That's sick. Nasty time. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Things are starting to heat up in here. All right. You got Yelich and Pete Alonzo. That's a great pack right there. Wow. Wowzers. Sure that's not a cleat, says Wynn. I'm pretty sure. I don't think it says on the back of the card. Let me double check. No, it just says uh, pieces of the game. It looks like a base to me. I'm just going to go with base. It has the feel and texture of a Major League Base. All right. Pete B, pack number do. Let's see what's happening here. We got Noah Syndergaard. <laughs> Cam Vett says, I see a couple boxes on the back table. You are correct, sir. There's a couple more things lining up here. Here's Syndergaard. Here's Sandberg. Here is Ozzy. We've also got Conforto purple out of 299. We've got Nolan Ryan out of 25, a little blue parallel. And the hits. Gregory Polanco, 26 out of 27. Jumbo Relic. And, well, I already spoiled the name on this, so let's just show it off. Corbin Burns. A triple Relic with an on-card auto. That's a nice, pretty-looking rookie card right there. is nice uh, clean signature Pete B that's a decent box these these two cards are just like bonuses really because that first pack in that box was sick watch the corners is that you Ivan what's up buddy 31 out of 75 on this card by the way Quick little sleeve on that before I mess something up. Let me sleeve up your uh, Polanco as well. So Pete B, looking for his comments. Not too bad, he says. Yeah, these, these two cards in this pack are just icing on the cake, really. Because your first pack knocked it out of the park, in my opinion. That was a nice pack. Decent box all around, man. Good call on the triple threads. Usually a pretty good call on those boxes. Nice product from Tops. Uh, thanks, Pete, for jumping in tonight. We appreciate you, man. I'm going to keep these together. Somehow. Go.
can't tell. Someone named Watch the Corners was uh, commenting here. I thought uh, thought our buddy Ivan had a had a page called Watch the Corners, but haven't seen a response to my hello. If that's you, Ivan, let me know. No big deal. Uh, now batting. Real, will the real Mark O please stand up? Please stand up. Please. Stand up. Mark O is up next with a box of Chronicles. Uh, on deck, we got David F. Thank you for leaving your YouTube handle. Uh, in the hole, James M. Back in the hole here with uh, Archives Retired and uh, XR Football. These boxes don't like to stand up very well. That one stands up, the football box. Baseball boxes, not as much. Not as much. Just going to do that. And uh, William M. got in the running tonight with a Topps Gold Label. Remember, anybody who jumps into a personal break, we're going to uh, randomize this uh, Luis Aparicio 1956 Topps rookie card to any personal break participants tonight. Last call is coming up soon, folks, so get your orders in now. All right, Marco, where are you at? And watch the corner says, I'm Shane R., not to be confused with Shane B., I don't know who Shane B is, but Shane R, nice to meet you. Thanks for jumping in or joining us on uh, the chat tonight. Mark O'Connor says, this is my first box ever of Panini Chronicles. Wish me luck, everyone. Hoping for some good hits. Yes, good luck, Mark. Let's see what's up. All right, Chronicles has been a favorite product this season. Usually is. A lot of fun stuff going on. And if you just if you don't mind, Mark, I'm just going to start ripping for you. Everybody wishing you luck. That's nice. Thanks, everybody. Starting off with a Tatis Jr. rated rookie. Arenado. Senzel. Oh, spoiler. First autograph, first pack, James Norwood. Absolute rookie autographs. Got uh, three autos and a relic per box here on Chronicles. And there's one of your autos. You also got Kikuchi. Chris Bryant, nice old. Prism Refractor there. Mookie Betts. And Vlad Jr. All right. Well, I picked that pack because it looked a little thinner. I was hoping to try to save the hits for last. Here's Kikuchi, but that didn't work out. Kikuchi rookie. <clears throat> Elvis Andrews, uh, Wento, what's up Wento, asking why is Donruss in this, this is Panini Chronicles, they chronicle all of their product lines into one box, here's a nice Shohei Otani, looks like a pink parallel numbered one out of 25, Cool looking card. I kind of like how the pink and the red clash on that card. That's cool. Here's Cano on a Spectra insert. Here's Harper. Machado on the Obsidian. That's one of those products that I wish they would do for baseball. Uh, McNeil and uh, Stanton. Let's see, we're going to go with this pack here. Cindergard, Vlad Jr., Mark Zaganis. Something behind him. Uh, oh, it's an autograph. Chris Paddock. 
Chris Paddock. A little rookie autograph for Obsidian right there. That's a nice looking card. So there is your second of hopefully three autographs, but it's not guaranteed. May Machado on the uh, Titan. Kopech. Uh, Lowe and Jimenez right there. Mark O'Connor says, I like that auto. Yeah, it's pretty, man. Wait till you see it in person. Those Obsidian cards are real cool. Here's Kikuchi. Uh, Tatis Jr. Nicky Lopez. You got a little, I'm going to call this a USA refractor. It's like a red, white, and blue Jacob deGrom. Backed by a uh, Brandon Lowe rookie, but this DeGrom is numbered 17 out of 25. That's a nice looking card. Definitely cool. Brandon Lowe. Whit Merrifield. Kopech. Eloy. All right, Lindor, we got a thick card in the middle of this pack. There's Lindor. Uh, Pete Alonzo, rookie. Uh, Michael Conforto. Ooh, nice little, I'm gonna set those down. That's your hit right there. Here's a nice little Juan Soto, little cracked ice. Atomic Refractor thing. Andrew Benintendi, Vlad Jr., Ramon Laureano. It's a pretty looking card right here, man. Looks like rubies and diamonds all together. 71 out of 99. In fact, I'm going to put a sleeve on that because that's, that's a pretty looking card. And behind your Michael Conforto, the hit in this pack. I think it's a hit. Yeah, there's our boy. SRF. Sean Reed Foley on our rookie jersey autograph with the soda pop blue right there. The sparkle on that thing. That's a pretty card right there. Sean Reed Foley, man. Sick. Nice looking card. Numbered uh, 6 out of 99 there. That's pretty. What's up? The beard. I gotta pause for a moment. Yeah, I'm gonna come in here for a sec. I'm gonna pause for just a moment. And, um, uh, grab me. Grab me a, uh, grab me a pack of something cool. All right now, I don't know. Chronicles is cool. Let me just finish what I'm doing here, Todd, for a second before I get too distract distracted. Finish up for Marco here. Marco, in your last pack, you got Tucker, uh, Chavis, uh, Shohei, uh, Giancarlo. Uh, Trevor Story, 
Um, Albert Pujols, Nathaniel Lowe, and there's a thick card in here. It's a Bregman relic. There's your last hit, Mark. Alex Bregman uh, might be uh, taking it all this year. This card's numbered 36 out of 99. That's a thick little Cornerstones relic right there. Let's see if that'll fit into one of these sleeves. There we go. So you got Cornerstones relic. You got the Sean Reed Foley rookie jersey autograph. You got the Chris Paddock. Autograph on the Obsidian, and then uh, you got the uh, James Norwood absolute rookie autograph. So there you go. Thank you, Mark O'Connor. Appreciate you, buddy. You're in the running for that Luis Aparicio card. Now, Yama, come back in here for a minute because I'm going to sing happy birthday to a special friend. So one of my best best and oldest friends, his name's Todd. His uh, YouTube screen name is The Beard. He says, hey, Uncle Eric, I'm writing on behalf of Noah. He says, good to see you. And that he is celebrating his birthday dinner with his family right now. He wants you to know that he is now six. That's as many fingers as I'm holding up right there. So what's up, Noah? Happy birthday, buddy. Happy and, birthday, uh, buddy. To the rest of the family hanging around watching, if you're watching. Hello, love you guys, always. Uh, will you sing happy birthday with me? Yeah. Everybody who's watching right now, Todd and, and Noah's family are uh, very important to me, and everybody right now, just drop a happy birthday to Noah in the group chat right now. And we're going to sing happy birthday, me and Yama. One, two, three. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Noah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, buddy. And you know what, Noah? I'm going to open up this pack of cards just for you, buddy. So you're going to get all these cards inside. You can watch me open up this pack just for you. Look at all the happy birthdays coming in. You guys are great in the group chat. Thanks, buddies. Thanks, guys. Look at all the happy birthdays coming in for Noah. The big six. Noah, here's a pack of cards just for you, buddy. You can come pick this up at the shop later in the week. You got Nolan Arenado. You got Yusei Kikuchi rookie card. He's a good pitcher. You got... Eloy Jimenez, rookie card. He's a good rookie with the uh, Chicago White Sox. It's numbered uh, out of 199. You got a little Spectra insert. This card's really thick. This card's a thick. See, compare it to uh, compare it to this card on the left, which is or on the right, which is thin. This card is very thick. A little Spectra, Colby Allard, rookie. You got uh, Trevor Story here. You got, what else? You got Justice Sheffield, rookie, on the Obsidian. These are cool-looking cards. Uh, there's a San Diego Padres rookie, Fernando Tatis Jr. And then, uh, look at that, Mike Trout, the greatest player in baseball right now. Right there. There you go, Noah. Happy birthday, buddy. Hope you have a great rest of the night. and Eat a piece of cake for me. Better yet, save me a piece of cake. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for uh, being with us on that. That was awesome. You guys are great. Except for you, Soup. You know where you can go. <laughs> All right. Let's continue on with uh, our program here. We still got some boxes to go. David F., where are you at? David F., YouTube name David Five or Five A, Five. 
I can't pronounce that. Maybe Fivet. I'm saying I'm saying Fivet. It's right there. It's right around there somewhere. Here's uh, the sticker for Marco's Box of Chronicles, Yama. Stuck on your side. All right, David, don't blink. Where are you at, buddy? We're getting back into it. Fivet. Fivet. Okay. The T is hard. It's a hard T. Here you go. Three, two, one. Below me, Trebek. Here's Brandon Lowe. Below. Brandon Lowe, autograph rookie, and my lighting is getting terrible this time of year. I got to figure out if anybody has a lead on some affordable. Sure, I can go on Amazon. My buddy, if I go. I can get something on Amazon for 140 bucks or something like that. But if anybody happens to have some kind of studio lighting that they can donate, that would be better for this time of year. We're not usually breaking this late this time of year, but now that we are, got to have some better lighting. I'd like to get something a little more affordable than $140, if possible. Free is right up my alley. But uh, thanks to David, he says, that's about my fifth low auto. <laughs> And uh, by the way, Todd says thank you to everyone at HOFBC. Yasmin, what's up, Yasmin? Love you, miss you. Thanks, Uncle E. We love you. And thanks to David F. for jumping in with that box. You're now in the running for an Aparicio rookie card. Uh, now batting, James M., are you still with us? Which box do you want to see first, James? Football or baseball? On deck, William with gold label and oh, William M again with clearly authentic David said thanks shop thank you David James wants archives let's do it you want it you got it all right James let's see if we can uh, make some improvements to the the one-off quick rips tonight. Three, two, one. No, we cannot. <laughs> Unless you're an Indians fan, and I mean a big Indians fan. This is Charles Nagy right here. Few people remember Charles Nagy. Uh, four out of 48. This is the 19, what, 1990 Tops design? Let me check. 91. 91 tops design. Nice on card autograph for what it's worth. I don't even want to ask or know what it's worth. Nobody tell me. There you go, James. That one's going to be coming out to you very soon. Let's get into some XR football. How's that sound? Two autos, one relic, seven cards per pack, two packs per box. Let's see what's up. I do like the packs on this. The packs look super cool. I like the inside of the box. Super 80s. This was the right pack, and this is the left. James, which one do you want? Do you care which one? you want to see left or right pack first? He wants a Hall of Famer autograph. James M. says left. James M. gets left. Here we go. Mr. Philip Rivers. We got uh, Darius Slay, I believe that says. Yep, Darius Slay. By the way, if anybody has uh, Spotify, I'm not trying to uh, promote my Spotify at all, but I do have a a really cool Halloween playlist, which I named it a Halloween Slay List. So if you're into some K 
killer Halloween themed rock and roll, etc. Go look up Halloween Slaylist on your Spotify. It might come up. You can look up my name probably too, Eric Newton. And rock out. Uh, let's see what else is in this pack here. Cards are backwards. Uh, here's a uh, Sean Murphy bunting card. Doesn't look like he's bunting. He looks like he's running. Yeah, that's a joke. Uh, behind him, we've got Gilded Greats, Earl Campbell. So there's a retired player card. Not autographed, but maybe that's a little hint of something to come. Retired autograph. It's a pretty looking card, numbered out of 99. We've also got DK Metcalf, 13 out of 20. Autographed rookie relic. That's a cool looking relic right there. Really not sure what that is. Piece of something. It looks like a piece of the couch from his home. Well, that's a pretty looking card. There's Seahawks right there. Where's Spidey when we need him? James M likes it. That's what matters. And uh, Trace uh, McSorley out of 199. Sterling Shepard out of 249 right there. This DK Metcalf card is pretty cool. Uh, let's see your next pack here, James. I think we're still due another autograph and another relic, maybe? Leonard Fournette here. Eli Manning. What's up, Shalaney? Seahawks is his PC. That's cool. Let's see. We also got... Darius Slayton. That's funny. We had a Slay and now a Slayton. And let's just flip it over here. We got a little three piece, 80 of 99. I can barely read those names down there. Mariota in the middle, uh, Derek Henry on the right, Corey Davis on the left. A little triple relic there, numbered out of 99. And the autograph, Travis Homer, out of 199. Another Seahawks, some more Seahawks love. Rookie auto there. James M., what do you think about all the Seahawks love you got in this box? Maybe you can trade with Shalaney Lapel if you're not into them. And then the two numbered cards, or there's a few cards left. Uh, Hakeem Butler out of 249. Joe Mixon out of 249. And there's the uh, Eli Manning from earlier. James says, thanks, shop. You're welcome, James, as usual. As usual. We appreciate you jumping in. Long sleeve. Three nice-looking cards right there. Not too shabby. This is the cool one, though. That's a nice-looking card. I like that. A couple more boxes left, and then I guess we're going to raffle off or randomize that Luis Aparicio rookie card. It's William M. in the house. William M. Uh, did not leave a YouTube handle. Okay, William M. Not sure if William M. is still watching. I'm not seeing anything, uh, anyone named William M. right now. All right, no, no answer from anyone looking like William M. So William M., whoever you are and wherever you are, we hope you enjoy this and we appreciate you uh, jumping into some personal breaks. You will get a chance to win that Luis Aparicio rookie card at the end. 
I want to start with Clearly Authentic. Quick rip. Don't blink. Here you go. One, two, three. Brandon Lowe again. Wow. Clearly Authentic as hot and as fast as, as it got. It has cooled down tonight on Clearly Authentic. Hopefully this will improve by next Monday. We're certainly weeding out all the uh, less desirable autographs eh, for the general population, I would say. Obviously, there's some Brandon Lowe fans out there. This is uh, Blue Parallel, number 22 out of 25, on-card rookie autograph. Yeah, number out of 25 is cool for sure. And, man, Rays had a good chance this year, man. Their team uh, looked a lot better this year than in previous, so... Keep an eye out on the Rays for the future, for sure, folks. Who knows? That could be an all-star card next year. All right. Uh, William M. with a box of gold label as well. Caleb's asking if I can sing some songs written by the Beatles. I would, but YouTube won't... Uh, Put a smack down on me if I start singing a bunch of Beatles stuff right now. Caleb, uh, name a song that you might want to hear me sing from the Beatles. Here's your uh, gold label, William. I'm going to save that for the end. I'm actually going to put this box right back here. Actually, no. I'm going to put uh, Aparicio right in the middle. Because he's coming up soon. Brian Mossy keeps saying uh, William is watching. That's great to know. Who is William? <laughs> I don't know who William is. And, uh, here's uh, Mark McGuire. I don't see anyone named William uh, on the uh, chat right now, and they didn't leave a YouTube handle like we keep asking. And it says that on every break page, I believe. Here's Carter Kaiboom, Mark McGuire here, Matt Chapman. How about a Johnny Bench Blue Parallel out of 150? When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. And in my hour of darkness, she is standing right in front of me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Let it be, let it be, let it be, and yeah, let it be. There will be an answer, let it be. How's that? There's a couple of bars in a key that was maybe a little higher for my voice than it should have been, but that's the way it goes. 45 out of 50, Keston Hira, blue parallel here. Nolan Ryan right here. <laughs> Jersey Devil saying his dog just started howling. Uh, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> Here's uh, Cody Bellinger, Jose Altuve, Jacob deGrom, Trevor Story, and Fernando Tatis Jr., Here is Andrew Benintendi, Shohei Otani, Aaron Nola, uh, Yelly, and Keston Hira again. Mm, Eloy Jimenez, rookie. Uh, Derek Jeter. Kyle Ripken Jr., he is in this set. Uh, Miggy, getting Miggy with it. Robinson Cano. Last pack before the gold autograph has Alomar. 
Blake Snell. Ooh, that Snell. Bow, bow, bow. The Snell that surrounds you. Roberto Clemente. Luis Urias, rookie card, black parallel, class one. And Alex Bregman. All right. Uh, Luis Urias base card on the front, by the way. Uh, Ricky Henderson, my boy, base card on the front. Or uh, back was Urias, front was Henderson. Urias is black parallel. And the gold framed autograph is. Is this a sideways card? Hold on, let me check it out here. It is a sideways card. This could be something real cool. Seattle, 12 out of 15. Maybe an auto relic here. Let's just check it out. Edgar Martinez, on card autograph with a bat relic, gold framed. What a way to end. William M. Whoever you are, wherever you are, this card's coming out to you. That's a sick one. He's one of the newest members of the hall, correct? Or am I thinking of somebody else? I think that's correct. That's a sick card. What a way to end. Check out the gold frame on that bad boy. Let's flip this all the way around. Congratulations. You've received a Golden Greats framed autograph relic from 2019 Topps Gold Label Baseball. Boom. Last Pack Mojo. How about that, folks? Last Pack Mojo. Oh, congratulations and thank you to William M. This card will be coming your way soon. Let me get a sleeve on it. We good to raffle? Or randomize, I should say? All right. That's awesome. What a way to finish. Hang tight, everybody who participated. We're going to randomize this uh, rookie card right now. Thanks to all these people. All these people are going to go on the list right now. All these people. So we're going to randomize this 1956 Luis Aparicio rookie card to one of these personal break participants tonight. Uh, it's going to take a, a little minute, but uh, follow me, follow me, follow me, but don't lose your grip to the randomizer screen. I'm going to do this on the fly right here. So here we go with the list randomizer, and I'm going to have to take a moment and put all these names in here. So talk amongst yourselves in the group chat while I'm doing this. I'll give you a topic. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll give you a topic. Rhode Island is neither a road nor an island. Discuss. Okay, I got the names in there. You guys should all be able to see that on your screen. All the names are in there from all the participants right there. We had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 different participants. Quick thank you to everybody. I'm going to shout out all these names. Bill B, Matthew W, Nelson P, Richard M, Bailey B, Michael F H, James M, Travis G, Jonathan H, Pete B, Marco, David F., and William M., sincere thank you to you guys for jumping into the personal breaks today. Help us, uh, help us out tonight with this episode. Couldn't do it without your guys' support. 
So it wouldn't be an episode without the, without your support. Right now, we're getting ready to random off this uh, Luis Aparicio rookie card. We're currently on the randomizer screen. Those are all the uh, lists. That's the list of participants. We're going to roll the dice real quick. Whoever comes up to the top, as usual, top spot gets the card. So we're going to roll the dice first. Here's the dice roll. Dice comes up with a six. So this list gets randomized six times, and that's going to be the winner of this card. Here we go. Good luck, everybody, and thank you. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, and the final roll, whoever lands in spot number one after this roll gets the card, and that is Bailey B. Bailey B. There you have it. Thanks to you and everybody else who jump into personal breaks tonight. This is the first time we've ever done anything like this. It was super last minute. Just a fun idea. Give away an original vintage card. 1956 tops. Luis Aparicio. Going to Bailey B. That'll be uh, shipping with your order tomorrow. Your personal break order. Everybody say congrats to Bailey. Let's get back to the main screen here real quick. And there we go. That's how we do personal breaks right here. Hall of Fame Baseball Cards, Arcadia, California. This has been a great experience for us thus far. Uh, thanks to everyone who's uh, participated of course, and supported this uh, episode, these episodes by actually uh, purchasing products and jumping in and allowing us to uh, rip your boxes for you and then show them off and ship them to you. Uh, it's been a lot of fun, and, and we're glad you like it as well. Uh, thanks to everybody who uh, joins us in the group chat, especially people who are staying positive. Keep it positive, not just in us, in our group chat, but take that positivity to everyone else's, you know. Um, but we thank you guys. Thanks to uh, Soup for uh, moderating the group chat tonight. We appreciate you, brother. And uh, once again, thanks to Todd, Yasmin, Noah, Harris family. Happy birthday over to Noah. Uh, it was a great night tonight, everybody. We thank you so much. Uh, cards will be shipping out tomorrow. And we hope to see some, uh, some of you here on Wednesday at 2 p.m. for our football five-box mixer. That's going to be a fun one as well, if you like football especially. Thanks, everybody. Have a great rest of your evening, and we'll uh, see you soon. Peace.